you want to be a UX designer in 2024, then this is a step-by-step -step guide for you. First, just go on Google and simply search all the keywords which are in your mind. Like what is UX design, what is product design, what is UI UX design, is product design and UX design is different. Just go and do a random Google search and you will get a basic idea of what UX design is. And now that you understand what the UX design means, you can go on YouTube or you can choose any platform like Coursera, Udemy. You can choose any platform and you can start learning the basics of it. These are the website you can check if you want to learn the basic of UX design. You can do courses from Coursera, Udemy or even YouTube but you can also check this website. It's called Class Central and here you can find courses from Coursera, Udemy, Harvard, Stanford, Google, Microsoft. So what you have to do is just go on the search bar and write UX design and then you can see all the courses and you can also select filters with certificate, without certificate or university courses. You can also select here level, what duration you want, your subjects and in language you can select all this filter you can also further sort it by by highest rated or relevant course then now you can see that there are so many courses which are the same courses that you can find on coursera but these are free like recently the coursera started charging fees and like so many people applied for the financial aid but it's just giving them 90 to 70 percent of the fee behavior so if you're looking for free courses so you can check this out now you know the basic of UX design so you can start making your project the only way to test your skills is your portfolios i will suggest you to make minimum two projects like two detailed projects if you want to make more you can obviously make more case studies i know you must be wondering that what kind of project should we make or or how my portfolio should look so here are some of the example of detailed ux case study and people who have amazing portfolio let's go through it when it comes to portfolio, you have to understand that but what matters more is how detailed your UX case studies. So look at this person's case study. So he have included here project overview where he have written challenges, objective, his role and all those things and then design process, research. So in that research, he have also written secondary research and also a primary research. He have also mentioned user persona and empathy mapping. And also you can see that he have also included wireframes and now you can see the original design. And there is also a prototype at the end. So this is what recruiters want to see. They want to see your UX process. They want to see if you will given a problem, what you will do and how you will approach it and what is your UX process. Now let's see the next portfolio. Here also you can see that its, it's UI looks so amazing. It looks so minimal and interactive let's see one of their case study so let's see the LinkedIn one um, so here you can see that in starting he have written that you can see here that he has written what is the problem and and what is the solution for it and now coming to the next thing he have done research he did comparative analysis and the next part he wrote about research he has also included user personas and next he have included UI design uh, if you are making your portfolio make sure you have a solid UX case study and it's detailed and it says your UX process and you have to understand that there is no a single UX process and for portfolio you can take inspiration for other people but don't try to copy their ux process because the ux process change from problem to problem so in some problem you will just do survey in some problem you will just collect data but in some problem you have to do user interview you have to do usability testing so don't try to copy someone's ux process because it will differ from problem to problem but you can take inspiration from others now you know that how you can make your UX project and UX portfolio. Now it's time to pick a problem. So for problem, you can pick any day to life problem which you are facing and you think that if there will be an app for this, it will be amazing. So if you have anything in your mind like that, you can take that problem and you can solve it and you can make a case study of it. Or if you have nothing in your mind, then you can also search for the problem. So let me show you how you can search for the problem. Here is the medium blog where you can find 100 problems. So you can go through this and whichever you find like little interesting, you can start making the case studies so here you can see there are so many interesting problems so you can choose anything you want now coming to the next thing it's fake client ux so here you just have to like generate so here you can just click on generate brief and it will generate a brief but if you want a different one you can just keep clicking on it generate 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 and it will give you like several design brief you can take any of this and you can start making your ux case study or else if you want problem related to ui design you, you can just select here ui design and you can just click on generate brief now coming to the third thing as you know the chat gpt is here and everyone is being crazy about it so let's try to use chat gpt for finding a ux problem so i will just write here that i am a ux designer and i want to practice problem solving so can you please give me problem solving statement for 
health industry so here you can try to be as creative as you want and you know that you will give it a bigger prompt or detailed prompt it will give you a detailed solution so that's why i'm specifying your health industry you can try to change it according to your interest you can write fashion industry or e-commerce industry or anything so it has given us problem statement the background problem key consideration that what are the key components we have to keep in mind and what are the deliveries so you can also try with the chat gpt now what you have to do you have to start making your ux case study for making project you can either publish it on my portfolio is still on medium because i haven't updated it for a while and i think i should update it but you know this is a designer's problem like we don't update our portfolio like i think that if you have time then you should definitely go for the website but if you don't have time and you don't want to invest so much time in that then i think you can go for a notion and medium i think they have become more advanced too so you can go for any of those things when i started out i based my first project on hands but it takes so much time and you have to upload there as an image so if you want to do any change in the case study you have to do so many changes first you have to make the changes in the figma file then you have to export and then you have to upload so it takes so much time so that's why when i made my second portfolio i made it on medium because it's easy to edit and it's easy to share so now that you're working on portfolio and you are daily learning ux you have enrolled yourself in ux challenges now i want you to go on linkedin and start networking with people before you start networking make sure you have updated to linkedin profile make sure you have a professional profile picture you have a good headline that you are aspiring ux designer or a ux designer you have all your skills filled in and everything filled in make sure you have updated linkedin profile and start reaching out to people who are either hr or who are either ux designer or who are senior ux designer who are design directors you can connect with them on linkedin you can start building the connection with the people who are in design industry or the people who are hiring manager suppose if you see an opening in ibm so you can just go to the people who you have already talked so that person already knows you because you already spoke with him so there are high chances they will refer you if nothing works you can just get his two cents now coming to the secret thing as you don't have any prior experience and you are just starting out in ux i want you to stand out of the crowd i want you to do the ux challenges i want you to do things which not everyone is doing around you so for that there are several website where you can go and you can find ux challenge you can enroll there and you can practice ux daily learning is a continuous process the more you learn the more you feel that you have, you don't know anything so it is a continuous process and you have to keep doing it but it doesn't mean that you can't get a job in 3 months or you can't get an internship in 3 months but you have to keep learning and you have to keep practicing design daily so for that there are some website which will help you do that let me show you so if you're looking for a website to practice your design daily here is one of it it's sharpen so here what you can do is first you can select a category i will select ux design and product design and then just click on new challenge you can see the challenge on the screen design a language menu for whole foods you can just keep clicking to new challenge and it will give you a new challenge you can pick any of the challenge and you can start designing for it now coming to the next one it's good brief so here you can select a type if you want brand identity illustration or design website or you can also select random so here i will select the website and now you can also select industry so for industry i will select random um so you can just click on generate and it will give you the company name company description job description and what is the deadline so it will just give you hypothetical brief saying that you have a client its name is this and this is the description so you have to work on it and also if you want another problem you can just click on generate and it will give you another problem now coming to the third website it's uplabs so here you can go into challenges section and you can see active challenges so you can see here that uh, how many people have already participated in this so you can see that for spotify redesign there are already 72 people who are participating at it so you can just click here and you can get the challenge and you can start working on it now coming to the last one it's one of my favorite website you can see here the challenges are divided by topics so like if you want to practice in user interview you can click on that or if you want to practice user persona so you can click on that or else if you want to practice in making wireframe so you can click on that so for answers like click on user flow so for this too they have given us a scenario task and tutorial so if you don't know how to do you can just click on these website and you can learn and there are also tools given which tools you can use so yeah this is it like if i want to be a ux designer in 2024 i will definitely do all this thing this way so i hope you found this video helpful if you did find it helpful do like it and please subscribe it to my channel and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and also you can reach me out on linkedin and instagram thank you so much for watching